I don't know if I'm gonna put this in, but. What is going on? You saw the title, we are on our way to Minnesota. We are driving there to tour the University of Minnesota Twin Cities. It's gonna be about a four hour drive. It's like nine o'clock and we have a guided tour at two. I just thought I would vlog this experience because this is gonna be the first video in a long time that's not just me at my house because I haven't left the house in a very long time. So I figured let's seize this opportunity to get some good footage of something different. We're gonna be staying at a hotel tonight and then going back tomorrow. So it's gonna be like a little two-day vlog. I'll see you guys later. It's pee time. Oh my god. Pee time. Dad, can you hit the wall? Freezing, I'm in short sleeves. I'm so cold. Hey guys, so the pee break is done. We have about an hour left. I'm gonna eat some food because I'm hungry. Okay guys, about to go to the tour. that one in slow mo. Just finished the tour. We're walking to our car right now. I didn't get a lot of footage, but I tried to do what I could, but I didn't really uh, have the confidence to just whip out the camera. But we're gonna drive to our hotel and park and then go back and like walk around campus like by ourselves. But yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll catch up with you guys. We're at the hotel currently. I don't know if I'm gonna put this in, but there was a, there were three of us in the tour and like this guy was so cute. <laughs> Anyways, I actually really like the campus. My whole life, I kind of have linked um, UW-Madison and Minnesota kind of in the same group. I get reciprocity, so I would get the same, around the same price at both of the colleges. Oh, time to go in. There's the football stadium from our window. Ew, there she is. <laughs> okay, stop right there. <laughs> okay, so then we went to go take pictures with their mascot, which is a gopher. And let me know if y'all see what I see. Um, <laughs> all I'm gonna say is I don't want to know what it is. I do not want to know. My parents left me, so I'm all alone. And I went to go to the bookstore like by myself, and it was closed. So I don't know where they, I don't know where they are. Someone's having selfie time. <laughs> So this is kind of disgusting, but there's a shoe tree. So like people, it's just kind of creepy. Like hanging shoes, that scares me. Like look at all, those are all shoes. That is, this looks like it's straight out of a horror movie. I do not like it. Frat, frat parties be like. <laughs> Yeah, that's good. This is the College of Liberal Arts, so this is where I would be a lot of the time if I decided to go here. I actually got in for um, film, but it's not a real film major. It's like media and cinema studies or something. It's not like any production stuff. I don't really know why I even applied to that, but that's what I got in for. But um, they have a PR and advertising major in the same school, so I would definitely switch to that right away. I wouldn't want to be in the media studies or whatever. Okay, so this is pretty cool. So there's these two statues right here, and you can see them from the side, but then you can't see them from the back you see it and gone that's so cool this is kind of spooky I'm currently in the hotel room alone because we just ordered dinner my parents are going to pick it up but I just want to show you guys one thing that I got today we stopped at like this campus store and I got this shirt I love oversized tie-dye I don't know I just thought it was really cute I wanted to show you guys I think I'm going to take a shower I actually have like <laughs> 
homework and stuff to do. I also have to go online and look at all the different residence halls here and submit my housing option because apparently even if you aren't committed, which I'm not, by the way, I should have put this as a disclaimer earlier, but I'm not committed to this school. <laughs> this is just one of the schools that I'm choosing from, so we're here to tour it. But on the tour, they told us that you should submit your housing options even if you're not committed. Like you don't have to pay anything to do that. You just, everyone should do it. I also need to edit. Oh my God. It's like vacation, but I'm still working just for you guys. That is a pro and a con of being a YouTuber. Like the pro is that you kind of work on your own schedule, but the con is that work is literally everywhere. <laughs> like everywhere we go, every vacation, it's like, I need to be filming this because I need to be getting content. But I wanted to film this anyway. So time to go shower. I don't know what's happening, you guys. Okay, I literally just took my little tripod for this camera out of my purse sitting right here, and then I set it down because I took a sip of water, and it's gone. <laughs> I can't make this up. I don't. I think I'm losing my mind. Where did you go? <laughs> I genuinely think someone else is in here and they took it. What is going on? Did I zip it in her suitcase? I genuinely like at this point. Oh my God, I found it. <laughs> Basically what happened was I, I took the tripod out of my bag and then I was like, oh, I need makeup remover. And then I checked my bag and I didn't have any makeup remover. So then I opened my mom's suitcase to check if she had brought any makeup remover. And I guess when I did that, I was still holding the tripod and then I put the tripod in the bag and then I shut the bag and that is the story of how I thought I went crazy. And the moral of the story is my mom didn't bring makeup remover, so. <laughs> Shower is done. Time to get dressed. And we're dressed. <laughs> all right, you guys, here's our dinner. We all got some sort of bowl. Um, and then for an appetizer, we got buffalo cauliflower pieces with vegan ranch, which is super good. And then what I got is this Tex-Mex bowl. So it looks like it's lettuce, cheese, pico de gallo, like avocado, lime, ranch, chicken, rice, just some other stuff. So, and we're just gonna watch something on TV. And the <gasps> yes, yes. <laughs> okay guys <laughs> we are gonna go to bed i'll see you guys in the morning I got a breakfast sandwich with sausage, egg, and cheese. I got a grande iced chai with oat milk and three pumps of brown sugar syrup. And then I got a blueberry oatmeal. Hi! Oh, <laughs> Y'all, look at this bathroom. Okay guys, we just left the hotel and we are on our way to the Mall of America. Always wanted to go there, so just wanted to update you guys. It's Emma. <laughs> Anyways, go pack go. We went to um, PacSun, and if you know PacSun, you know there's a Brandy Melville in PacSun, and we went over to look at it and make fun of the fact that they only have one size, and then the worker was like, Ugh, oh my god, I know, right? And <laughs> we talked about it for like five minutes, and it was cute, so just wanted to, just wanted to share. Okay, guys, we're at Hollister. This is the first thing. It looks kind of bad with my sports bra, but this top, I think I'm gonna get it. I really like it. We're out of the mall, and we're heading back home. So, I don't know how much I'll vlog in the car. I'll show you guys a little haul of what I got at Hollister when we get home. As of now, I'll just see you guys when I see you guys. Fit, chick, check. No. Fit, chick, check, check. Chick, fit, check. <laughs> fit, what fit, did I check. say? Right. I don't know, chick, but it check. wasn't that. What did I say? We can rewind the tape and check. Fit, chick, check, I think. Fit, chick, check. This is all from Hollister, by the way. So the first thing I got is this black cropped uh, tank top. Next, I just got these pair of shorts because I wear these kind of shorts to bed. I also love the band up here and they were just super soft, super comfortable. I got like a light blue dress. Yeah, I just thought it was super cute. And then the last thing I got was this one piece swimsuit, but it's kind of one of those that looks like a two piece. So it looks like this. It's green with like gingham. 
There we go. That's the um, complete haul for you guys. It's a couple weeks, not a couple weeks, it's like a week later. Here's my recap. I honestly really liked the university. I grew up really only knowing the University of Wisconsin Madison, and I knew that campus very well. And so going to the University of Minnesota Twin Cities was a really cool experience. I really liked the campus like a lot. I felt like it was very cohesive. There was a train for students that takes you like right to downtown Minneapolis, like to the Mall of America. And then there's also like a metro system, but it's like on a track and that's also free for students. And it takes you to like any of the buildings. So all that I felt was super convenient. I thought it was in a really beautiful, nice location. We actually got a guided tour. So it was really nice to go inside of some of the buildings and see like the gym. The gym was so nice. Staying overnight felt really nice to just like get out of the house and like not be sleeping in my bed, except I slept horribly, but. So yeah, that was my experience. It's kind of the first college video I've uploaded on my channel. I just wanna let you guys know that a lot more are coming. Literally like a week from today, I will have all my college decisions, meaning I can finally upload my college decision reaction video. And then also I'll be making my decision in the next month of where I'm gonna go to school and I'll be able to make a video about where I'm deciding to go. And then from there, it's just gonna be a lot of college videos. I'm so excited to go to college, so excited to document it, film it, post it. Like I'm so excited. <laughs> but yeah, that is all for today's video. I really hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. I love you guys so much. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and hit that subscribe button down below if you wanna see more of my face and I'll see you guys next time. Stop